We have definitely waited long enough since installing the new coilovers on the car to go and get a wheel alignment, so that is what we're going to be doing. Actually, while we wait for them to do the wheel alignment, I did end up getting a question. I apologize that we didn't do the weekly Q&A. You gotta remember that I'm still a smaller channel. So if I don't get more than two questions, it's pretty hard to make a Q&A. But there are a couple of things that I would like to go over in this one. Um, and that's a wide body kit. But the thing is with a rocket bunny, is I wanna boost the car before that because not only is the body kit gonna add more weight to your car, even if you're cutting parts of the fenders off, but it's also going to require you to buy bigger wheels, unless you wanna buy spacers. But in all honesty, I live in New Hampshire. My car isn't gonna be slammed to the ground like somebody else that lives in LA or something. So my car's gonna be a little bit off the ground. So the wheels that I have on it now, I wouldn't have once I wide body the the car. 10 inch rims, 18 inch, 10 inch wide wheels on that car, man. It's slow already, you know? So it's like the body kit, the huge wheels that are of course gonna weigh a lot. And then that car, just it doesn't have the power for it. So before I do any of that crap, the first thing that I'm gonna do is boost it. I honestly don't know if any of you, I'm very, very, very new to the car scene. Like I'm very new to the car scene. I've said, I've really been seven months since I've had that thing. That's really when I started getting into cars. I've always liked them. But anyways, I really don't know whether or not to turbo that car or supercharge it. The only thing that I know the difference, I understand that supercharging it is it like from zero RPM all the way up to the maximum RPM is when you get the power turbo only kicks in, but that's not really what I care about. What I care about is the sound. So with this, at least the superchargers that I am aware of, and I don't know if there's any superchargers that are just like quiet, but they make like this zinging noise and where the turbo has that pss, and I actually really like that. So it's like, unless I can find a supercharger that has that sound and it doesn't sound like your car is broken, then I'm probably just gonna roll with a turbo. But let me know down in the comment section below if there are some superchargers that do not make that noise because I would definitely get the superchargers. More power, bro. <laughs> Must I say, I have in fact been grinding my ass off. Script for the second video. One video's already been uploaded. And then the reliability issues with the FRS. All that. Hi, my name is what? My name is who? My name is Slam And for everybody wondering, it is in fact April. Almost May. Welcome to New Hampshire where it snows in summer. You know how I'm always telling you guys to push yourself to make all of that awesome stuff that you have planned with your life actually come true? There comes a limit when you push too far. The topic of this video was just randomly appeared because it happened to me. I am always pushing myself to make the dreams that I have come true. But there comes a point where it has an effect on your health. So for me, and what I'm about to say is gonna sound really, really crappy and it's not meant to be crappy, but it's a fact. Right now with the COVID-19 pandemic that's going on, this is literally a once in a lifetime opportunity for somebody that's creating online content to grow because everybody is at home. So with me being a YouTuber, a lot of people are watching YouTube. So I'm pushing myself beyond my capabilities to 
get content out on the vlog channel and my gaming channel. But there comes a point where I get two hours of sleep every single night for an entire week. And that's just not healthy, man. So even though I'm always saying that you need to push yourself, the goals that you have with your life are not just going to be handed to you. And there are some very lucky people on this world that just have things handed to them. But for the majority of people, that is not the case. So you need to push yourself to make those goals happen, but you also need to think about your health. The importance of sleep. Anybody that struggles with like getting a really good night's sleep that may have like anxiety or racing thoughts or anything like I do knows how much of a difference your life or like your day is going to be after you get that good night's sleep. So like you wake up after getting two to five hours of sleep, you feel like dog crap you finally get that eight or nine hours a night of sleep and you feel like a monster the next day. Like you're beasting out everything. You just, your mood is all the way up and everything. Sleep has a really big impact on your life. And the reason that I'm making this video is because I couldn't do it yesterday. I, I honestly thought that I came down with uh, the coronavirus. Um, I just, I felt like completely starts having an impact on your health. 